Welcome back to my Let's Play of Battle Brothers and the continuing adventures of Stupid Stolts. This time we're about to uh, go into an old graveyard and find monsters. Here be monsters. As you approach, crunching, munching the snicker snacker of someone or something enjoying a good meal. As you step through the cemetery, you stumble upon a clearing filled with Knack and z z z z yeah, them. They're huddled over the remains of what appear to have been the grave robbers you were looking for. The hideous monsters slowly turn to you, their red eyes widening at the sight of fresh meat. Well, I have a full complement of 12 people in my wonderful... Stupid adults. The only question really is... How many of the twelve are actually going to survive this? Right, you spear wall yourself. You climb up there so you can have a better shot. Something. Not that it did any good. You try and have a shot at one of them and miss and try another shot and miss again. Yep. Yeah. Every single one of my archers has missed. Always good. You spear wall. You spear wall. You shield wall. Spear wall. Spear wall. Spear wall. Repost. And shield wall. You just stand there. That should be everybody in a nice defensive position. But when these horrible monsters, however many there are, eight apparently, in total, come towards me. <laughs> apparently, Spear Wall is still as effective as it was in the early access versions. Which I'm quite grateful for at this point. Right. Oh, hit something, Archer. Yeah, you go back to spear walling. You go back to shield walling. You try and shoot something. And apparently, you're going to be as bad a shot as ever. As apparently are all my archers. Oh, okay. Finally hit something with an archer. And you just stand there. I'm down to seven of them, thanks to a lucky shot. Okay. Alright, we'll wait on you. You shield wall and stay there. Uh, if you could hit something, that would be nice. Be a bloody miracle, to be honest. Well, oh, okay, apparently it's going to work. Apparently you're still a bad a shot as ever. Your turn to be a bad shot. Yep. Okay, you're exhausted. Always nice. You stay right there. The 
see what they want to do this time. Oh, I finally missed him. Oh, okay. That thing suddenly put horns on his head. That's not going to be good. Aim for the one with horns on his head. Never mind. Oh, I see the archery's going as well as you, usual. Oh, stay there. Useless toad. Okay, another lucky shot, but I will take it at this point. Right. There's five of them left, I can see four of them, and one I think is running away, so... Right, fine, go, go there. There somewhere. Well, you're not that bothered. That might have been a mistake. This guy's coming back. Nothing you can do. If you would like to hit him, it... Oh, Stroth, will you hit something? So far, I've been completely unimpressed with that man with the axe. You stay there a second. You stay there. Right, stab him. Well done. Well done. Oh, well done, you muppet! Okay, apparently I can't get up. Okay. Go that way, I go somewhere, I really don't care right now. <laughs> apparently I'm not having much luck hitting him. And then there were three, apparently. about that. That's going to hurt. That's going to be dead. Apparently I can't hit this guy. Oh, finally I managed to hit him. making you walk the long way around. Yeehaw. Will you kindly die? Apparently you won't. Alright. Anything 
get hurt this time. Yeah, he's in trouble. Well done. Finally, you did something useful. Thought it was never going to happen. Of course, you're not going to hit him, are you? No. Oh, you are actually going to hit him. Well, that's something. Now, if you fire at him, what's your chance of hitting? 27%. Okay, you actually did something. You just stay there. And that was a 78% chance of hitting him. And it really worked out, didn't it? And you can obviously can't hit people up there. You get out of the way. You're holding people up. It's over. I'm not going to fight any more people. Oh, Otmar actually lived through that. Admittedly with a broken elbow, elbow joint and a cut Achilles tendon. And hack on the barbarian. Got a deep Abdominal cut and a ripped ear. But he lived. But most importantly, ah, yes, the town I need to go back to is over here. Okay, sitting and jesting with the men while they check their kit, hone the, their blades and mend their armour, your mind wanders off to thinking about new ideas for improving the company and its reputation across the lands. What is your conclusion and what do you tell the men? We need a battle standard, so we are recognised from afar. Having one be made is costly, so we, will, we shall gather 2,000 crowns for this. I know the soles of your feet are itchy for the open road and we need to spread word about the company. Let us pay visit to every settlement far and wide. We need allies. Forging a bond of friendship and trust with one of the towns will get the company better prices, more volunteers and more steady work. We'll go with allies for right now. So I'm certainly not collecting two two thousand crowns for a battle standard. As it is, I need to get back here so I can collect my eight hundred and fifty crowns for the last contract. Roderick the Guildmaster welcomes you into his room. Did you kill them all? Is it secure? You shrug. Nobody but digging up graves anytime soon. I get 850 crowns and Krakenvada no longer has terrified villagers. I could afford both of those guys, but I don't want them. Let me have a look at all my troops. Right, you can go sit back in the reserve in a tent somewhere. As to be honest, so can you. Let's move the archers back up that way a bit and put you in the middle. Is that antidote? Okay. Well, I think I will buy some medicine because it might be useful to me. Yeah, a load of my f food is going to spoil shortly, and the fish is relatively cheap. So I'll buy some fish. 
and the tools aren't that expensive and we're gonna need some more tools so I'll buy a load of those and that will do for now there are no contracts here So I will go for a walk back to where it all started. Angle, Anglon, or whatever that town was called, over this general direction. Let's see if they've got any more contracts for me. The problem is, I finish one contract, I tend to spend the money on stuff that I need at this early stage. I really could do is not fighting monsters but fighting brigands because at least brigands leave me stuff that actually okay apparently there's no contracts here there's a lot of people I could recruit but I don't want to and yes nothing particularly has changed from the, since the last time I was here so let me pause it and wasn't what's that place a massive stone citadel. Not really going to give me much work out of a stone citadel. That place has given me work in the past. That place hasn't. Have you given me work? Oh no, that's a stronghold. Well, okay. Looks like I'm heading north. Hopefully I will have enough money when I get to get far enough north to actually complete a contract of some type. I really don't want to be raiding supply wagons at this point in my career and upsetting a faction, especially as I'm working hard to make friends. Like anything. Oh, along the road. While on the path, you come across a man staring at a hole in the ground. Naturally, you go over and ask what he's doing. He states that there's an orc in the pit. You look down, there is. Taking out your sword, you ask if you should take care of him for him. He reels back. What? No, I want that alive. I think I can try and understand it. Understand it? What, what is this man on about, he pleads. Let us merely try. Everyone kills an orc on sight, but they're not mere animals. They show intelligence, and if they have intelligence, it means they can learn. If they can learn, then perhaps we can learn to coex they can learn to coexist with us. Fair enough. Good luck with that. You want to tame an orc? That's your problem. Mercenaries and I need work. Oh good, there's a contract. Why and hold the merchant falls his hand together when he sees you? This might be a strange question, but how interested you are in making delivery for me? You explain for the right price, such a journey would be a welcome departure from the usual killing and dying that goes on around you. The man claps his hands together. Excellently, excellent. Unfortunately, I don't expect to be quite like that. It's of enough import to garner and save your attention, which is why I'm looking to hire cell swords in the first place. It's going to Seastad, where a man by the name of Gothart the Treasurer is waiting for it to fall into his hands. So you see, this won't be the departure you speak of, but it can be a fine payday if you're interested. Let's talk money. Okay, we talked money and it wasn't enough. And I really need to make some money and that was the only contract there. So it looks like I'm going back to that place on the right. Something, something Vasa. Oh, I could do with a random encounter with some bandits or brigands or whatever they want to call themselves.
could go up to that ruined keep, but I've got no idea how big the problem would be if I went there. So literally, if I don't make any money soon, this company is going to disband. Okay, what have you got for me? A cowl-shaped man hisses at you, his teeth and nose winking momentarily from the dark of his hood. You've got no time for lepers or jokers to demand the man get out your way. Instead, he starts talking. My master requires your services. He's heard of your exploits. Follow me and I shall take you to him. You rest your hands on the handle of your sword and nod. I'm all ears. Well, my Prince Charles? Egon, the guild master, has got his feet up on the on his table when you enter. Puts his hands behind his head and looks a little too relaxed for your taste. Good tidings, Captain. What say you take a leave from all that killing and dying? He rise, raises an eyebrow at your response, which is precisely none at all. Huh, I figured you'd jump on the opportunity. No matter, it was a lie. I need you to take a certain package to Henrik the Younger, a fellow residing at Mitterfels. This cargo has undoubtedly guarded some ill-intentioned eyes, which is why I need your men watching it for me. If you're interested, which you should be, let's talk numbers. Let's talk money. I don't have much choice, I've got to get a contract. Okay, so I've got to go to Mitterfeld in the northwest. Okay, which is if I go straight. cut through the forest and maybe I can pick up another contract at Mitterfels because it really is getting tight money wise Tomb of the Mad King yeah I'm not going into the Tomb of the Mad King No idea how bad it is in the Tomb of the Mad King, but a name like that doesn't exactly give me hope. No idea what's up there, have I? Oh, big town by the looks of it. Right, into the town we go. Henrik the Younger's waiting for you as you enter the town. He hurriedly takes the cargo off your cans. Your cargo off your cans? Hat off your hands, even. Oh, ooh, I did not think you would get here. His grubby fingers dance along the chest, carrying the cargo. He turns around and barks an order to one of his men. They step forward and hand you a satchel of crowns. Yeah, all 200. You come across a man leaning against a porch post. He hails you down. Rabban of Mitterfels has been looking for you, Sellsword. He's down yonder in the village communal. The stranger nods towards a large building a little ways along the road. I hope you do good, mercenary. The people of Mitterfels are wary of your sort, but that doesn't mean their hearts can't be won over. Rabban of Mitterfels listening to the talk of a few peasants when you find him. When they see you, they quickly depart, leaving the man with a satchel in his hands. He holds it up. There's crowns in here. Crowns that those people are giving me to give some, someone, anyone to help us. People are disappearing, Sellsword, and when they're found, they're not just dead, but mangled, mutilated. Everyone is too scared to go anywhere. He stares into the sack and looks at you. I do hope you're interested in this task. Okay, yeah, that's a reasonable offer. I'm not going to argue that one. Hunt down whatever terrorizing the, the town. Okay, I just need to find some tracks, apparently. They look like tracks. Oh, some dire wolves. Well, I was going to end it before I got to this fight, but they certainly appeared... I wouldn't say out of nowhere, but... 5% chance. 11%. Seven. Oh, I'll aim for the five percent, and maybe I get lucky on hitting one of the other two. Yeah, I'm not going to hit anything.
anything, am I? Oh, well done, you hit something in the end. Reload. Alright. What's that? Oh, wavering. Okay. Why are you wavering? Grow a pair, man. Let them come to me. Oh, that didn't work out quite as well as I'd hoped. That did. He's having a good day. Apparently he's still alive, though. Right. I can't hit him from there. Alright, fine. We'll move forward. And we'll hit him from there. Or not hit him from there, as the case may be. Hit him again, that would be good. Didn't think you would. Yeah, let's ignore the archers. For now, at least. Oh, of course, I missed. Surprisingly. Uh, right, you go over there. You forward one step. And fire at him, preferably. Never mind. Oh, you missed. Well, he's in a bit of trouble. Stab this one would be good. Well done. <laughs> Nicely done. Fine, go that way then. Oh, nicely done. And so die the dire wolves. And a few more. Fur coats. Your employer, Rab Rabin of Mitterfelds, might not believe what happened here without evidence. You ordered men to begin taking pelts, trophies, scalps, whatever might show off your victory here. Collect my money. When you step in Rabin of Mitterfeld's room, he recoils almost instantly. What in the hells of the gods is in your hand, Selsword? You hold up the nape, nape of a pelt. Black blood ropes out from the neck and splatters on splatters the floor. One of the beasts you were looking for. If you need evidence of the rest, I've got those waiting outside. The man holds up, holds his hand up, staying you. One is sufficient for my belief. Very good work, Selsword. Your pay will be with Humbert, a councilman you have probably passed in the halls. He's got the ugly mug on him and he'll be carrying the 660 crowns as promised. The man takes another look at the beast and slowly, slowly shakes his head. May the dead and their survivors find peace in the passing of those foul beasts. Well, no longer has disappearing vi villagers here and I got some money. Well, I can actually hire those two if I wanted to, but I don't want to. And... Well, the food's cheap. As are the tools, more importantly. I'll take the food. This stage. Okay, and on that happy note, 
that's where I'm going to end this episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you down the road for more adventures of Stupid Stolt.